Hello everyone, I'm doing a voiceover of one of my uh, flights of my newest launcher. Um, on my first forum post, I put out a modded um, satellite multi-launcher that I thought was pretty sweet and uh, I had started exploring with mods pretty early because they gave you a lot more functionality. But I decided that I wanted to try to make something from stock parts, and so here is a completely stock fuel orbiter. Uh, basically it takes fuel into orbit, pretty self-explanatory. Um, this is a very, very, very highly reiterated model. This is the 15th complete redraw of its design. I've used the same kind of principles throughout it, but I've had to rebuild this thing from scratch so many times. Oh, I ran into so many bugs. Uh, there was a fun bug with struts where I had so many struts because I was just trying to keep it all together that uh, I was up at like 400 plus struts. And uh, when it got up to about uh, 15,000 uh, feet or meters, it would just kick itself sideways into an unstoppable spin. Um, and I couldn't figure out what happened, so I ended up deleting my entire Kerbal installation, re-doing it all, finding out that it was just the struts, and so rebuilt it all, redesigned how the struts go. I've cut down the struts to as few as I possibly can while keeping it all together. Um, this rocket has some balancing issues, which is possibly due to all the struts, as well as the design choices I've made. If I could redo it, I'd probably redo it and place things closer to hand instead of using the angle snap tool. Um, while it is convenient, it doesn't perfectly balance some of these weird things, like this is a uh, six um, angled or hexagonal I should say design ship basically everything's in six pairs um, and it works out pretty well except for it doesn't seem like the game can actually handle that at the third level of six um, it's kind of hard to explain what that means but uh, basically three levels out of having six six and then the third level of six it doesn't know how to properly angle it and so this causes plenty of balance problems and a lot of this stuff I had to rotate slightly so that it would attach it wouldn't rotate on one angle but it would attach rotate on another angle and attach so I couldn't figure out what was going on um, well, it looks like I'm about to dump my first set of uh, rockets this design is basically um, or not my first set but my second set this design is uh, basically a uh, more or less five stage rocket. Um, there's three intermediate stages. Oh, and notice it's starting to spin now. This is unstoppable. Um, once you get out of the uh, atmosphere, up into the upper atmosphere, and uh, especially when you jettison that previous stage, it just starts to spin in. There's not enough air to allow the delta wings to actually keep it stable. But it doesn't really matter. But anyways, back to it. It was a five stage rocket. Um, basically, there's three stages that help uh, kind of act as boosters, basically. Um, and we're about to detach the third stage real here soon. Real soon here. Pardon my words. And uh, more or less, this kind of gives it a really, really great, um, what's it called, uh, thrust to weight ratio as uh, I kind of jettison all the useless stages every single time and uh, I managed to make it so that there's no debris from this uh, like my previous launcher this is a debris-less version and uh, that that involved quite a few little finicky things um, now as you can see here I'm uh, time warping and thankfully I managed to get myself to stop spinning once you just in that previous stage then it's all fine and not spinning until you spin yourself back the other direction because you're an idiot um, anyways um, I this thing is really to the wire on fuel for orbiting so uh, you gotta be careful with it um, here I'll look at the map soon and find out that I way overshot my apoapsis that I wanted uh, you want to generally have your apoapsis under the 100k mark for uh, kilometers because it's very very dangerous otherwise but for some reason I did overshoot it and I'm gonna look here and go oh man damn but luckily I managed to just barely 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 retain my uh, thing and get myself back into orbit as you're gonna watch here um, this final stage all the fuel is bled into the main tanks in the center but for some reason all the tanks on the outside still take fuel from it even though they're all the ones feel feeding fuel onto the inside um, it's really weird how that works out but it worked in this case because I needed a lot of thrust um, and anyways as I, I was trying to explain this was a five stage rocket the first three stages are its launch stages then the fourth stage gets it into a circularized orbit and then the fifth stage which we'll find out in a moment here 
and look at this I'm watching the periapsis rise and I'm like yes yes I am very very happy that is a stable Kerbal orbit out of the atmosphere I'm ecstatic it's not a perfect circularized orbit the circularized orbit because I messed up um, but I've flown this rocket probably 150 times out of the atmosphere trying to get it all perfect get everything working out and so I did not want to have to re-record and re-fly um, fly this thing again so right now I was just hovering over the staging I'm gonna now disconnect the stage now the fuel tank is out and then I thrust away from it which will help it get a little better into orbit potentially and right there I was really happy because I saw it getting pushed away and I thought oh it's gonna get a more stable orbit that's good so anyways this is gonna slowly deorbit now uh, I use the same stage that I used to escape this fifth stage um, to deorbit the uh, circularization stage which is a really good method saves a lot of fuel saves a lot of time um, it isn't possibly the most elegant there might be a better way of doing it but I don't have ret retro bur burners or anything really easy to use so this is how I did it and I kind of like it um, it's kinda of funny I'll show it off in a minute how the actual capsules designed but uh, it's a pretty wonky thing and uh, if you've been looking on the nav map you notice there's another thing in orbit that's actually the fuel um, launcher X um, five iterations ago that managed to get something up into space and then I tried to make it more fuel efficient and uh, took five more iterations so yeah anyways here's the capsule as you see it's a capsule with a gas tank mounted on it or a fuel tank mounted on it with a engine mounted upside down on that and that is a parachute right there that you see um, uh, it's kind of wonky I really doubt it would survive real atmospheric reentry but it works for this and so uh, what's it called it's gonna st I'm just gonna let it drift and I will be uh, cutting away in just a little bit to uh, take it back to uh, Kerbal and uh, yeah this is a really really nice launcher very fuel efficient very not easy to fly at all matter of fact this thing is horrible to fly uh, anyways going back to Kerbal um, so here's the parachute deploying we're gonna nice land on Kerbal feel free to take this out for a test flight if you'd like it's extremely hard to fly almost impossible and uh... yeah good luck <laughs> Bye.